Okay, what is up everyone, and in the last video we created a get request so we can get all the documents from our database, and a post request so we can create documents and add them to our collection in our database. And so we're going to be continuing on from that and creating a delete request, a patch request to update documents, and we're going to be finding single documents. If you didn't watch the last video, I highly recommend it because we are using the same code, so let's get into it. Let's go to our game controller and create a method and call it delete game equals async request response an arrow function or try and catch block and we're just going to call our variable game again so we're going to say const game equals await games dot find by ID and delete and this is just going to take one parameter we'll it'll be request dot params dot ID and then we're going to do our res dot status and it's going to be a 204 dot json and we're going to say status success data no and in our error we're going to say res dot status 404 because it's a goof it doesn't work dot json status is fail and the message is just going to be the error again Cool, so save that, and now we're going to come over to our game routes, and we're going to create another router over here, and we're going to say dot route, we're going to say forward slash colon ID, this is where that params comes in, and then we are going to say dot delete, and we're going to say game controller dot delete game. So let's save that, and I'll tell you what's going on here. Back. In our game controller, of course, you have the await and async right here because it's an asynchronous method. And we have to find some kind of way to get the document we want to delete. And the easiest way to do that is to get it by the ID because every ID is unique to each document. There's never going to be two that are the same. And we say rec.params.id here because, first of all, it's a request. And we're telling this is going to be a variable, this ID. And so we could call this X right here. We can call this ID part whatever we want. All it has to do is match what we are putting right here. And this colon is also letting you know in the browser note that we don't know exactly what this, what this path is going to be. So we're going to create a little variable. Okay, so I'm here in Postman. And the first thing we're going to want to do is run this git request so we can get access to our document. This is the one we created in the last video. Uh, we're going to copy this ID right here, switch this request type down to delete, and do forward slash, and then paste that ID in there. And when we send this, we shouldn't get anything back in this right here. should say 204 like it does. Since it says that, we know it worked. And just to make sure, let's come back to our git request, delete our ID, and send it, and we shouldn't have anything. Awesome. So... That worked out perfect. Now let's move on to the patch where we are going to be updating our documents. We're going to have to create another one before we can update something, but let's get to it. So we're going to be doing the same thing as up above, and we're going to call this one update game equals async our request and our response arrow function, our try and catch block to make sure we don't get any errors, and if we do, they are properly handled. And now we're going to create a variable. It's going to be called game again. Await since it's asynchronous, and we're going to say games dot find by ID and update. This is going to take two parameters. The first one is going to be that ID. because we need to know which document we're updating. And the second one is going to be request dot 
body because that's where our updated information we're sending to the server is going to be held. After that, we're going to do our res again. So res.status. This is going to be a 200 since it worked. So dot JSON. Status should be success. Then data is just going to be our game. And then down here, I'm not even going to type it. We can just copy and paste this right here so that we don't have to get carpal tunnel too early in our life. And then we're going to come back to this game routes and we're going to chain on another command. And it's going to be dot patch. And as you can imagine, we're going to say game controller dot update game. So like I said, just to explain it again, we have to find out which document we want to update. That's where this ID comes into play. And then the body is just the information we want to update in our document. So let's go back to Postman and create a document and then update it. Okay, so as you should know at this point, to create a document, we have to come here to Post. We have to go to our body, click Raw, and switch text to JSON. And all of our parameters are required. So. I'm going to do the name, and I'm going to set this to Rocket League. That was a great game. Our price is going to be zero because they're awesome. We don't have to pay. And our rating, make sure it's in quotes, is going to be E because that's for everybody. Can't hear trash talk on that game, so... Let's send that, make sure we get a 201 status. Okay, so we got it. Let's check this get request just to make sure. Here it is right here. So we're going to copy this ID. Come over here to patch. We'll paste the ID. And we don't need all of these. We just need the key name that we want to change or update. And so we're going to switch to price. To ten dollars because they're gonna get greedy and charge us and we're gonna send that we got an okay status so we're gonna delete the ID switch it back to get to make sure it actually worked and now Rocket League cost ten dollars great so the last thing we are gonna do is make it so if we just want to see a single game we can see a single game this part if you haven't figured out the pattern I'm just gonna copy this whole thing right here and paste it again because it's almost exactly the same. The only thing we have to change is right here. We will say find by ID and give the request.preams.id. And I'm going to change this to find game because we only want to find a single game. Then over here in our routes chain on a dot get and game controller dot find game save this let's jump to postman I created another game in here just so I can prove to you that there is only gonna be one game found from this so I'm gonna copy the call of duty ID and paste it up here in the URL and click send and there we go. Even though we have two documents in this collection, it only shows us one. So that's it. As you can see, we are able to use variables in our URLs. You can see how we call these variables to our URLs. And you can see how many other methods Mongoose gives us to work with the database. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if there's something else you want me to go more in depth on. And have a nice day.